In today's Gospel reading, taken from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 18, we read that Peter went to Jesus and asked him, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Peter was not asking Jesus about how many times God the Father is ready to forgive us. Peter was sure that God's love and mercy are infinite, have no limit. Peter here is asking Jesus about how many times we, his disciples, should forgive one another. Now, to understand better what Peter is asking here about forgiving each other, I think we should keep in mind and try to understand the concept of forgiveness in the Jewish faith. If we read carefully the Old Testament, we notice that for the Jewish faith, forgiveness was never never meant to be easy, easy giving to one another. I remember years ago talking with a person very close to me, very close to me, about the Second World War and about the Holocaust. The Holocaust is that terrible tragedy, that ter terrible event uh, during World War II when the people of the Jewish faith were persecuted because they were and they are Jews, not because of their faith, but because of the fact that they are Jews. So many people converted from Judaism to, to, Christ, to the Christian faith, even to Catholicism, but that did not save them because they all ended up in those terrible places, Auschwitz, Dachau, and, and those terrible camps uh, concentration camps where they were murdered and I remember asking this person can you forgive those murderers who committed such terrible things against our own family is it possible to forgive them and without answering my question with a yes or a no she briefly explained to me the Jewish concept of forgiveness that the person who has erred or committed the crime must honestly and directly that means in person seek forgiveness from the person he or she has harmed otherwise there can be no forgiveness and I answered but all those people are all dead now. And she answered, exactly. In other words, she was telling me, there can be no forgiveness. Because they never asked us for forgiveness in person, directly, honestly. And Peter and the apostles and all the people around Jesus that day, when Peter asked this question, had in their mind this concept of forgiveness. That is why Peter asked him seven times. That is why. But Jesus, the Son of God, became man to reveal to us that God is love. And if we want to experience his love in our life, we must be ready to share this love with others. And forgiveness is the highest grade of love. To truly love, you must forgive. To truly forgive, you must love. And if we really...
And this is what Jesus is telling Peter and all of us in this gospel we have just proclaimed. Now, as C.S. Lewis once wrote, forgiveness is a beautiful We hold unto bitterness and resentment, we are literally closing our heart and we are moving away from God and from His own love for us. In life, we all have unfair things that happen to us. We can choose to hold on to the hurt. We can choose to become bitter and angry or following Jesus' words in today's Gospel reading, we can choose to let it go and trust God to make it up to us. One may think that he is not able to forgive because someone hurt him or her so badly. One might say, you don't know how I was raised. Or my ex-husband, my ex-wife caused me so much pain. How can I forgive? That particular friend betrayed me. I just can't let it go. But Jesus in today's gospel is telling each one of us, me, because all what I'm saying is for me, right? Because I'm, I have huge problems in forgiving people. Hmm? I am the first. But Jesus is telling me today, realize, however, that forgiveness is not only for their sake, for the sake of those people who hurt you. Forgiveness is also for your own sake. Why? Because if you hold on to that offense, if you decide to stay angry and bitter, you are only poisoning your own life. You are disconnecting yourself from God, from His love. Because forgiveness is telling me, Jesus, today, this morning, forgiveness is like a door on your heart. If you shut the door and refuse to forgive, then God's blessings cannot flow into your heart. But when we choose to forgive, when we decide to open our heart, then we will also receive His forgiveness and allow His love to flow freely through us. Because forgiveness increases our capacity to receive. Therefore today, celebrating the sacred liturgy on the 24th Sunday in ordinary time, let us ask ourselves, is there anyone in our life today that we need to forgive? Is there someone who has hurt or wronged you? Forgiveness doesn't condone wrong behavior. What is wrong is going to remain wrong. Forgiveness, however, releases the person from the debt they owe you so that God can release you from the debt you, you owe to him from your own transgressions. 
Today's Gospel reading is reminding us that when we make the choice to forgive, we allow God to touch our heart, to heal our heart. And by heart I mean up here, our mind. Choose, therefore, Jesus is telling me this morning, choose to forgive and open the door to receive God's life, God's inner peace, God's healing. Not tomorrow or next week, today, this morning. And you will walk in his abundant blessings all the days of your life. Amen.